And for more analysis on this, I'm joined live by Professor Sayed Mohammed Mirandi, Iranian academic, political analyst, and expert of American studies. Uh, Professor, Iranian leadership has never denied that if there's a foreign intervention in Syria, it could engage into war to protect its allies. Is the scenario becoming more realistic? The Iranians have not said that they would engage in war, but uh, I think that they would look at the situation and respond uh, in what they deem to be an appropriate manner. In other words, if uh, the Iranians say the Israelis are going to face serious consequences, the Iranians have many means to hurt the Israelis and to punish the Israelis. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be involved directly. They could uh, support uh, countries uh, or bodies that could, uh, that could make uh, life for Israelis more difficult. So uh, there are many means uh, in which the Iranians can support the Syrian people, the Syrian government, and deter uh, more aggression against the Syrian state and the Syrian people and Syrian sovereignty. If the airstrike really took place, uh, what was its purpose and did it have anything to do with Iran? Well, at this stage, it's very difficult to say, but I, but I think what is important is that um, the United States knew about the airstrike beforehand. They did nothing about it. The European Union, as usual, is silent about it. There's no condemnation for killing uh, Syrians, to, for bombing the country, for damaging the country's infrastructure. Uh, the EU and the United States, just like when they allow Israel to destroy Gaza, to impose a siege on the people of Gaza, to make ordinary women and children suffer, uh, here again they uh, allow the, the Israeli regime to, to do what it likes. Uh, they support apartheid in Palestine. So basically it, it ju it's just a continuation of what we've already seen, and that is full support for a racist regime that is m more or less out of control, that attacks uh, countries at will. But, um, but I think that it, it hurts the Israeli regime really more than anything else because, uh, first of all, it shows that uh, the war against the Assad government and the state by uh, militants supported by the West is, is in, in, to a degree in coordination with the Israeli regime. On the one hand, the Israelis are t attacking uh, Damascus, and on the other hand, Western and uh, dictatorships in the Persian Gulf, they are aiding uh, militants that are also attacking Assad in Damascus. Why do you think that there's reports flying around about Iran's hypothetical threat uh, to what just happened now near Damascus? Because this is all over the news now. Are they just looking for a scapegoat? Well, Iran is always an easy scapegoat for the West. Uh, Iran is blamed for everything except for global warming. Uh, but the reality is that uh, Western countries are the ones responsible for creating a civil war in Syria. They are responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of Syrians because they are on a daily basis with support of regional dictatorships and other regimes uh, trying to wreck the sovereignty and independence of the, of the Syrian state and uh, refraining from finding a peaceful solution. Western countries have uh, destroyed the infrastructure of, of Libya and uh, they have created the, what we now see in Mali and of course we saw the blowback in Algeria. So, um, you know, the, the culprits are Western regimes who allow also the most despotic and backward regimes such as Saudi Arabia to, uh, to fund extremists that are uh, expanding across the region. So uh, there's no reason to blame Iran. Of course, Iran will defend uh, Syrian sovereignty. And I think that the Americans and the Israelis should take this seriously because the Iranians, through soft power and other means, have made life very difficult for American, uh, the Americans and their allies in the, reg regime, in the re region over the past decade, as we saw in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and in Lebanon. Syed Mohammed Morandi, Iranian academic, political analyst, and expert on American studies. Thank you for your analysis.